Hi guys! And welcome to Halo Infinite. So, I've been really, really, really on the fence about Halo Infinite. Um, right now, the multiplayer beta is free. You can download it right now. And uh, I, I kind of want to review it. Because, so, there's some issues that I have with how Microsoft and 343 is producing their game. Uh, so as some of you may know, and some of you may not know, Halo Infinite is currently available, multiplayer beta, from Steam, Xbox, and PC Game Pass. Great. One problem. If you download it from Steam, you're required to connect your Microsoft account and log into Xbox to be able to play online. And I say this is a problem because this may be something trivial to most people. Okay, well, I'm fine. But some people don't have an Xbox account. And this causes a lot of issues. And this is something that I've been preaching for years. And one of the things that turned me off to covering Halo Infinite in the past is this exact issue. You are essentially... in. If Steam doesn't view it like this, I don't know what they will view it as. Knockout City did the same thing. EA and Knockout City did the same thing. And the game died incredibly quick. And I have a feeling Halo Infinite is at risk of having that same thing happen. Now, obviously, there's always going to be those hardcore Halo fans who are going to be like, Oh, I'm going to play this game no matter what happens. I don't know why I made them Australian, but you know, whatever, man. We're just going to do this. All right. But the the problem is, is you're trying to take people who are downloading on their preferred comfortable platform and put them onto a platform that they opted to not go with in the first place. And again, some people might be like, oh, well, whatever. What does that have to do with anything? Well, the, the issue, the biggest issue of all of that is it gets messy. Steam. You have Steam Profile. Good. Separate. Its own thing. Covered by one company. Xbox slash Microsoft. You have a profile. It's covered by Microsoft. You try to merge them, and then there's this middle area, this muddy water. So if, if Microsoft isn't communicating properly, and Steam is, Microsoft might make Steam mess up on your game, even though Steam is working perfectly fine. And vice versa, if Steam is messing up and Microsoft isn't, then there's this issue of this muddy water just creating a whole bunch of chaos, a whole bunch of bullshit that is unnecessary. If you're bringing it out on the platform, don't make people have to go to the other platform that they are not opting to go to by default. That's my biggest issue. As far as gameplay goes, we're going to get into gameplay now. I just wanted to go over that. Is one of the biggest issues. I I have some pros and cons with gameplay that I'll go over with this match. Uh, because as far as like searching for a lobby and everything, it's pretty quick. You, you find matches pretty quick. You get into games pretty quick. It feels pretty good. You don't. You're not sitting there for you know more than a couple of minutes. Um, but uh, the the biggest thing is is. It feels like they tried to take a little bit of Halo 2 with a little bit of Halo 3 and then add on the graphics and visualizations of Halo 4. Not Master Chief, but just the graphics and vis vis visualizations. And then take the abilities from Halo Reach and plug them in to try to bring it all back together full circle. And it's like... It's not bad. I I want to I, I want to make that very clear right now. It's not bad by any extent, but it's weird. Um, they have amazing accessibility settings, though. Uh, if we go into the settings, they have absolutely amazing accessibility settings. They have um a narrator that you can have they have changing text size scroll speed visibility the uh colors everything 
right? You you can change pretty much everything, right? Uh, and and that's really really nice. They have a lot of good good accessibility accessibility settings, at least in the multiplayer, which is something that is obviously very prevalent early on in a game's development because the more accessible, the more open it is to accessibility, the better it's going to perform in the long run. Um, for example, I believe... Yeah, the match is about to start. I, I, I'd have to look. I think it's actually in the controls, not in the accessibility, but there's actually, I'm pretty sure, an option that allows you to be able to, like, uh, make it so you can pretty much just use one hand to play. And, uh, I, I think that's really, 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 really good. Uh, because Halo is a really big name, and 343 Industries taking this accessibility movement and running with it and saying, listen, we did it, and we're doing perfectly fine. It didn't change our normal, non-disabled players' experiences at all. And they're just as happy, you know? So... I, I feel like I feel like it's really really important. Okay. So, first and foremost is pistol. The pistol is. I, I I got I gotta say the pistol is. Oh, okay. Well, I just threw a grenade at his butt. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, okay, well that's not where that grenade was supposed to go. I thought it was a frag, and even if it was, it wouldn't have mattered. It hit a wall. I'm a dumb dumb. Aha! I am the best. I murdered, even though I didn't actually. Ow, ow, my butt. Um, so the pistol. They definitely tried to go with a Halo 2 pistol. Ow! I just got absolutely destroyed from three different people. They all came and just touched my butt inappropriately and I didn't like it this time. Um the the pistol is like a it feels like they tried to make it Halo 2, but it's not Halo 2. If that makes sense. I don't whoopsie. I don't know how to switch uh, there we go. It's left on the D-pad. The controls are a little messy. <laughs> Sticky grenades definitely do not go... The, the, the grenades in general do not have as strong of a feel as they did in past games, I feel. Well, that is not how you throw a grenade. Guys, I've done a really bad job at throwing grenades. Uh, the, the BR is very disappointing, by the way. Oh my god, if I could actually hit him, that'd be great. Ouch. Okay, was he behind me the whole time and I didn't see him? I feel like he was behind me the whole time and I didn't see him. But, uh, the BR, it has a slower shot. You know how it used to go like... Now it's like... The, it seems like it fires about half the speed. And you can free fire the pistol, which... If you got amazing aim, that's great. But if you don't have amazing aim, it's like, okay, well... Ow, that hurt a lot. Grenade! Did I stick him? No. Damn it. My team is not doing very good. Uh, actually, if I'm being honest, my team is doing absolutely terrible. Uh, and I feel like I'm a part of the reason of the terribleness, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, yeah, I noticed. You know, he says, let's see them try to take it from us, but, uh, they're winning. Uh, 
Get out of here. No! Someone better kill him. What are you doing? Go! Wow! He's right there! My god, my teammates, why? Why do I have them teammates? Boom! From the grave! I was taking him with me. I knew I was gonna die. He got the jump on me. I spawned and died. Uh, the maps, at least in this this multiplayer beta, whatever they want to call this, the maps feel really, really small. And this is supposed to be the shotgun, and the shotgun feels tiny. Did I say tiny? The, the shotgun feels like crap. It has no impact. Like, you know, whenever you have a shotgun, normally it feels like, yeah, shotgun. This shotgun, it feels more like, oh, I have a shotgun, whatever. <laughs> Obviously, I was out of range, but I, it still wasn't, I don't know, I, the, I feel like they really need to rebalance some of the weapons. The travel speed on this uh, sp thing for the ammo or the bullets, the the projectiles of which you shoot them, sucks. By the way. How did I not kill him right there? I'm the best on our team right now, and I'm doing terrible. This is terrifying. Well, the enemy just won. Well, I just hit myself with a grenade. The maps are too small. That, that, that's, that's one of my biggest complaints. The maps are incredibly small. And, again, I don't know if it's just in this beta. I don't know if we're gonna have bigger maps soon. But they're incredibly small. We saw that whole map within the first couple minutes of the match. Right? And it, it's, it's like a... As far as scale-wise, like... For, for me, a good Halo map is something like Guardian or, uh, like, even on Halo 4, those, like, bigger maps, uh, oh my god, it was, it was like the, the Forge world that you could do, right? And they, there was custom maps on those, and th those really had, like, different things, and they're small. I've not played on a single map yet that hasn't had a lot of space on it and like right now you can only do quick play and so you can't choose what you want to do you can't just choose to do slayer you can't just choose to do oddball or strongholds or ctf or whatever you're forced to do whatever that game type is that they decide to put you into and that's another issue that I have with it. And I, I imagine, I assume that it's probably going to change uh, whenever the full game releases. But it needs work. I, I, and that's probably a very unpopular opinion. This is coming from someone who has over 5,000 hours in Halo 3 and probably close to 1,000 hours in Halo 4. It needs work. And probably close to about a thousand in Halo Reach as well. It it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a Halo map. It, it doesn't feel like a Halo game. It feels like a lot of we're gonna. It feels like they're gonna just take stuff and make it super crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Wow. I really don't like that gun. Some of these guns, by the way, it, and they they decided that they wanted to ma make some of the guns' names fancy. 
assault rifle isn't the assault rifle. It's now like S1484319994 assault rifle. Oh, Mangler is actually the same. Wow, that one guy killed all of you guys? That's, uh, that's terrible. I don't think there's dual wielding in this either. Mangler does not work very well. Can, can confirm. Can confirm Mangler not very good. Oddball isn't a one hit kill anymore by the way. Not very happy about that. I really like having the ability to insta kill with Oddball. It made actually being the ball carrier a little bit more enjoyable. Now you're just constantly shot at and have no hope. And I died. I think this map and maybe one or two others are the only maps in game right now. And I get it, they want to save stuff for release and have stuff for release. But again, it returns back to. It doesn't feel like Halo. It feels like they took Halo, tried to adjust it. And tried to make it too mainstream almost. I have no idea how I'm surviving. I have a killing spree with the oddball. I'm amazing. Again, though, I have to double hit to be able to kill them. Now, I do feel like meleeing is a bit quicker. Damn it. I, I I do feel like there there is that little bit of an increase in melee speed, but I I'm still oh man I missed it by one. I win! I'm the best! I'm dead! All right, and they always say enemy team is facing elimination. I I don't understand exactly what that means. And oh my god, is there a ridiculous amount of grenades thrown all the time? Damn it! I at least killed one. I I I. I to say i think most of the guns in this game don't feel like they have the punch that they once had they have a different sound which okay fine different sound sure update your audio stuff you don't want it to be the exact same but at the same time like i i don't feel like i'm doing the damage that i should be doing whenever I'm using some of these guns. Like the pistol feels very, very quick to shoot, good accuracy, but bad for damage. Uh, shotgun just has no impact. Like I said, the BR is very slow in uh, shot speed and so has no impact again. The DMR, again, really fast to shoot, but really, really slow in regards to actual like killing. God, so many people. I don't know why he decided to sit there of all places. That was like 
a really, really bad idea in my opinion. Too many in, ins and outs. Get into my hole! Hello, what would you like to drink for today? I got ball juice. It's on fire right now. <laughs> All right, well, I, I think this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be the match here. Like, Jesus, ain't nobody coming for me. Uh, hell yeah, I am. I'm biased. And victory! We have victory! Boy, that, that corner was a little overpowered when it came to oddball, wasn't it? Two ways in, two ways out. That was it. Please don't shake the light bulb. Your personal AI is just as not choosing AI that suits your personality in the armor hall. I didn't even know you could do that. The last thing that I'll say, and I, I saved this for last because, let's be honest here, it's one of the things that I care the least about. The cosmetics are god awful. The, the season pass in cosmetics that you get in the, the season pass are terrible. Let's uh let's just go to the customize. I I think I think you can go like this. No. Okay, so premium battle pass is a thousand credits, right? Premium pass bundle, which is all the great battle pass content plus a hundred XP grants, enough for twenty five battle pass levels. Right. Okay, that's great. But first and foremost, getting to the battle pass is like trying to being able to actually see what the battle pass holds is insanely difficult to do. You 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 don't know where to go for it by any means. Uh, but as as far as like yeah, MA40 assault rifle, just call it the damn assault rifle. You can change the color. That that that's about it. And some some charms. Like you you can't really do much with cosmetics. And then the armor hall. You got the Mark Seven, which is your basic Mark Seven. Mark Five. Okay. Unlock via Heroes of Reach Battle Pass. And then you got this, which is kind of cool looking. You kind of look like a samurai, but I don't know why you would ever look like a samurai. The samurai weren't even thought of during the time of freaking Halo. Um, what else? Spartan ID. Here we go. So you can do your backdrop, which is for your emblem. You're not even allowed... You, you can change your nameplate, right? But you're not even allowed to change, like, your emblem or anything like that. I'm to Let's just try our best not to get killed, okay? Sure, why not? Let's just try our best not to get killed, okay? And you can't even do purple. No, it's not purple. It's white. Okay, whatever. But, uh... Body type doesn't really change anything. Okay, this is obviously feminine. Like... But... Nothing changes. You can have prosthetics, which is awesome. You know, let, let, let's let's go full prosthetic. We we lost all of our limbs, and now... Now we're just like, okay, well, we're, we're all... We're more robot than human at this point, but... That's about it. You, you can't really actually customize anything else 
I didn't mean to do that. Like it's it's a little it's it's a little disappointing. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I had higher hopes. But it's it's really it's really disappointing. I don't know if I could openly say that this is in fact a halo game it 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 has spartans it has halo music it has the halo uh announcer and halo playlists but that's about it it is beta i i will openly admit that you know it could get a lot better here soon but until it does it's fun but it doesn't feel like halo anymore 